Gorgeous afternoon for baseball here in San Francisco at Oracle Park. Giants and Royals meet in the final game of the series. On the hill today for the Giants, uh, making his first ever career start against the Kansas City Royals, will be the left hander Sam Long. This is his first start of the series. And Melendez grounds it up the middle. Brandon Crawford bobbles and it rolls behind him. One run is home. Here comes Bobby Witt Jr., and he will score. So on a mostly routine ground ball, Brandon Crawford commits an error, and the Royals take a 2 0 lead. The 1 2. Rolled softly toward third. Wilmer charges, has it. He's going to throw on the move and just in time to get Dozier for out number three. Wow, that was shocking. On the hill today for the Royals will be the right handed rookie, Jonathan Heasley. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed strike three. That was a much better slider, and he gets Wilmer Flores. Here's the pitch. Peterson hits a high pop up behind second base. A wind pushing it. Witt going out, and nobody's going to catch it. It lands between Witt and Taylor, and the Giants get a gift. Well, Taylor was coming in, but Witt just kept going out, and I don't know if the two couldn't hear each other or what, but I think Witt needed to get out of the way, and maybe Taylor needed to be a little more forceful. Peterson runs and belt. Strikes out. So the bloop costs Heasley a few more pitches, but he has a scoreless bottom of the first. The pitch. And he got him for his first strikeout. 2 2. That one is hit to right field. Shallow sprinting in. Still coming in and not going to get there. Merrifield, it lands in front of him. That's a bloop hit for Casale. Lestella goes around to third. Giants have had two of those already today. Casale runs again. And it's swung on and missed. So in the first two innings, Heasley ends the inning with a strikeout against Belt in the first and Gonzalez in the second. Here's the pitch. And it's popped up. Shallow right field. Somebody's going to have to get there. It's not going to happen. Here's the throw into second. And they got him. Witt's thinking that he slid under the tag or before the tag was made. But I do think Crawford got him on the back. 2-2. Two -two. And it's called strike three. And there is strike at number four for Heasley. He reached with a single his first time up. Nothing routine in the air today, but Michael Taylor is there. And that's the inning. Two pitcher now for the Giants, Mauricio Llovera. And the pitch. Got him. Finally, Dozier chased that pitch. Now the 2-1. That one is hit off the end of the bat. Carrying pretty well, but Gonzalez has plenty of room. Out number three, Jovera pitches the scoreless inning. Nice to have Brandon Belt back in the lineup. Another 3-2 here to Belt. He hits that one hard to center field. That's some loud contact. Taylor at the wall. It's gone. Welcome back, Brandon Belt. Into the Royals bullpen. I missed him. <laughs> yeah, we all did. Now Brandon Belt is tall. He's 6'3. But look at the quickness of the swing. He's got a, a very quick bat for a, for a guy his height. You just don't see it very often. Crawford muscles one into shallow left, kind of a tweener, and it's going to fall. The third baseman Rivera got a glove on it. That's the third one of those today for the Giants. It's just been the no man's land. I mean, look, today a lot of wind, sun. I mean, there's nothing that's going to make a pop up play easy today. And you got Gonzalez and Yastrzemski due up next. Curveball to center field. I think that's plenty deep enough with Tyro, the runner at third. There's the catch. And there's the sacrifice fly. And I think. When a guy does it in a two strike count it even puts a, a, a brighter star wrapped around it. Nice at bat. Mickey Lopez will throw him out and that ends the inning. Zach Littell takes over. So the third pitcher of the day for the Giants. Merrifield on the first pitch to shortstop. Crawford throws him out. Nice inning for Zach Littell. Here's Amir Garrett on for the third time since coming back from the injured list. Taylor waits in center and he's got it. He's had a great defensive year. Got him. 2 2 and the 1 2. Swing and a miss. Salvi down on strikes. Going after a fastball at 96. 
And a 1 2 3 inning. Taylor Clark comes on for the Royals in the bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the pitch. Swinging a high fly ball to right for Merrifield, who's there, and he makes the catch, and that'll end the inning. Tyler Rogers on now for the 29th time. He's 0 2 on the year with a 5 4 ERA. Here's a swing and a pop up. Foul ground, first base side. Lestella will make the catch near the bag for out number three. That's an excellent inning of work from Tyler Rogers. Luis Gonzalez, hitless. High into left center field. Taylor still going back, and he can't get it. And it'll be a double. And Gonzalez stopped at second, and that's a good move. I think that ball really drifted on Taylor. Now Michael A. Taylor is an exceptional defensive player, and this just absolutely draws air. He totally whiffs on it. Here's the pitch. It is swung on and missed. Strike three. Slider. So Quas comes in and gets a couple of outs. The Giants get the leadoff double, but they do not score. We go to the eighth. John Brebbia, the new pitcher now for Gabe Kapler. 29th time he's come in. 3 0 in the year with an ERA of 273. An intendee pinch hitting for Rivera. Base hit right field, and that's going to roll deep. An intendee will jog into second base with a leadoff double in the eighth inning. Oh, yeah, that was working. Now he's two for two now with an RBI off the bench. It's a pinch hitter. So now Merrifield will hit. He's one for three. And Witt swings. And hits it in the air to right field. That'll do it. And Yastrzemski will make the play. He'll heave it to the plate. And Ben Intendi, who opened the inning with a leadoff double, comes around to score. And the Royals lead 3 2 in the eighth. Nice work. And Witt gets a little piece of it, too. And that's his 27th RBI. Here's the 1 1 pitch. It is squibbed off the end of the bat. First base side. Brebby off the mound will field. And he'll flip to first for the out. And the new pitcher is Scott Barlow. And Lestella is down on strikes. So Barlow gets the final two outs of the eighth. Right now it's Dominic Leone coming in for the 25th time. Going to try and keep this deficit at one run. Leone going after Salvador Perez and the payoff pitch. He got him with a good fastball. And he gets Melendez to swing at a pitch in the dirt. And that'll do it. And this will be Barlow's 25th pitch. He got the last two outs of the eighth. And another 3-2. On the ground to shallow right. Witt throws to first. And the Royals take game three to avoid the sweep. And the Royals' four game losing streak is over. The Giants' five game winning streak is over.